It gives me great pleasure to present you with your certificate recognising your success in this year's Stonewall Top 100 Employers. Um, you came in at 51 in the Top 100 ranking, which is testament to your hard work and commitment to LGBT inclusivity. So congratulations. Thank you very much. It's a really great pleasure uh, to welcome Sarah Foster and Matteo Lisano, colleagues from Stonewall, joining us today to celebrate our achievement of 51st position in the Stonewall Workplace Equality Index. This has been our ambition some, for some time and I couldn't be more thrilled and, and nor could my colleagues. It was our aim to enter the top 100 as soon as we possibly could uh, and the fact that we've achieved this recognition um, so soon is really testament to and recognition of uh, the commitment of colleagues and students across the university, not least in our Rainbow Rose Forum. And of course it also recognises the range of research we do in this area and the number of events we have to underpin the LGBT agenda. The Stonewall Top 100 Employers list is the definitive list of the best places to work for lesbian, gay and bisexual people. And we're delighted that Leeds Beckett this year profiled at 51 in the rankings. We've been working with Stonewall for a number of years and have participated in the Workplace Equality Index and this year there was a record number of organisations involved. There were nearly 400 different types of organisations across the UK. We realised we needed to do some different things to go further and get into that top 100. So we had three broad streams of work over the last year. One of them was data collection and monitoring and colleagues around our university will remember uh, there were messages from our Vice-Chancellor over the summer to disclose sensitive data in our uh, HR database and the reason for asking that was in order to have data so that we could monitor better. That was one of the actions that we took. The second one was community involvement and so uh, we went from having two or three people walking in Leeds Pride the year before to uh, August 2014 where we had a massive uh, walking float, a lot of visible branding and of course the first iteration of our uh, now legendary Rainbow Rose uh, to walking through the streets of Leeds and we got involved in the whole of the Pride events and that was a bigger uh, community involvement so that was some, one of the other tactics we took. And the third one was the role of the senior management champion, so things that I could do. Uh, so that involved me going to the Stonewall Workplace Conference. I also was, uh, I applied for and was successful in being accepted on some Stonewall training uh, for senior champions in London, which was a very interesting day. About 40 different organisations, the military, education, health services, private sector, banks, manufacturers, all there sharing experiences about senior champions and, and role models at work and then doing things within the university. So as part of last year's uh, uh, LGBT History Month, I hosted a tea and cakes uh, session. I'll be doing that again uh, this year. And uh, just being more visible around the university, uh, and I did a report for our corporate management team meeting uh, about all the, th the things that were happening at the university to make sure that we were on the agenda at the highest level of our executive uh, body. So those three things, and being able to evidence them uh, when we resubmitted for our next evaluation, meant that we had a lot more evidence because we had done a lot more things. And that is how we got up 117 places to 51 and uh, got a highly commended for our forum's work, the Rainbow Rose Forum. So it's all incredibly pleasing. The No Bystanders campaign is a nationwide campaign to tackle uh, abusive language around the country. Um, so individuals and organisations can take the pledge and commit not to be a bystander when they see abuse taking place. We're delighted that Leeds Beckett have decided to join the No Bystanders uh, movement by signing the pledge. Um, so I will allow you to do so. Great pleasure to do so. Thank you. Thank you.